This is GCSE Further Maths Mechanics. We are on Unit 4 Connected Particles and this is our final example. This is one of the harder um, pulley problems because it's over a table. I suspect it's beyond the scope of the course. However, it's still good to take a wee look and see um, how these ones work out. Two blocks A and B with A resting on a rough horizontal table and B hanging vertically are arranged as shown. The system is released from rest and after two seconds B is moved one metre downward. So that's suspecting to me you're going to use UVAST at some stage there. Mark all the forces acting on the block. So let's start with that. This one here is going to have a normal reaction going up and then a 4G acting down. Going this way here, there's some sort of resistance that says that because there's friction. So we're going to have resistance going that way there and pulling it this way. There'll be tension. Tension coming out of the 7G one. We're asked for the forces acting on the block, so we don't need to put in the two tensions acting on the pulley. 7G. And then it's always good to see then our acceleration. So that's A meters per second squared. And A meters per second squared. So that's all the forces acting on the blocks. It then says calculate the acceleration of the system. Nine times out of ten, whenever you're working out acceleration, uh, with pulleys and stuff like that we would use F equals MA and we're going to use F equals MA but in this case we can get our acceleration from rest two seconds and one meter downwards so we're going to do it that way um, so let's do U vast in fact we could probably fit it in here it'll be nice and clear U V A S and T it says it starts from rest so U is zero V we don't know A we're about to work out S is one and T then it's 2. So we want A and we have U, S and T. So we're going to use S equals U, T plus a half A, T squared. That means 1 is 0 upon 2 plus a half of A upon 2 squared. Nice and straightforward how this works out. Uh, we just get 1 equals 2A and we get A is a half meters per second squared. It then says calculate the tension in the string. So in this case now we're going to do F equals MA. So that was part one, this was part two. And then finding the tension in the string then it's going to be part three. So we'll just do F, MA, F equals MA for both. Uh, so first of all the seven kilogram force. F equals MA. And that's going to be seven G take away T equals 7A. That means we're going to have 70 take away T equals 7 times a half. So that means we're going to have T equals 70 take away 3 and a half. And our tension then equals 66 and a half newtons. Calculate the size of the frictional resistance force on A. So we've now found the T doing the F equals MA there. We can use that as our T here and then find our resistance. So it's now going to be F equals MA for the 4 kilogram one. Um, so what are we going to have? We are going to have T take away resistance equals 4A. We're going to have 66 and a half take away resistance is 4 times a half. We have resistance equals 66 and a half take away 2. So our resistance in this case is going to be 64 and a half. And that's us. Quite an unusual question this one actually. It's quite often we use the F equals MA, solve them simultaneously, but it just doesn't work out like that um, in this question. You'll always be doing F equals MA with these things and um, kind of solving them, but it was a little bit later on then with this example.